All right, everyone, I'm just going to jump right into it. Everyone meet Darla. Darla is a mini Winnebago that we are going to be doing a paint job on. So I'll kind of walk you through the process that I did for this paint job. Starting out, I did some brief research on how to get decals off because I knew that this was the first thing that I needed to do. So getting a good look at it, there are a lot of decals all over and then um, there was some paint missing on the hood. So we're going to have to sand everything down on the hood and get it nice and smooth for that primer. And then we're also going to have to remove the decals. Now there is a couple options on what to remove the decals with. You could either do a heat gun with a straight edge and kind of warm it up and then heat up the adhesive, which I did try on this one. It worked, but not as good as about as what I'm going to be showing you. It's called the Smart Eraser Pad. This is definitely worth it. I'll show you a brief video of me using it, but definitely for sure get this if you're going to be taking any decals off. It is a time saver and a lifesaver. Basically what I'm doing here is I already attached it to the drill and it's like a big giant pencil eraser that you get the decals off. I did do it from the side like this and it came off really nice. This is the attachment that you need to purchase for your eraser pad to fit with your drill. So make sure you have this attachment. The next thing that we had to tackle was sanding down the missing paint on the hood. We used a 220 grit sandpaper to do this so it was very fine and got it very very smooth. As you can see in the pictures here, very smooth. It's going to look perfect with that paint over top of it. We did only work on this for four hours for the one day, so we did not get a lot of decals taken off. But just kind of showing you what we did get accomplished for the day. This side, we didn't really get anything off. We did get the hood sanded down so it's ready for some paint. And then we got that complete side taken off and sanded. I do recommend getting a couple of those erasers just because we're about halfway through and one is already gone. So definitely get two of those erasers. It'll help you out a lot. The other thing is make sure you have a lot of extra batteries. This is something that is extremely important because you are going to be running the drill continuously. So you're going to run through a lot of batteries and you want to make sure that it is they're all charged. I hope that this helps you guys at least get started on your painting journey. Remember that 80% of this is going to be that prep work. It's going to be worth it. Just keep going. And that 20% is painting. Don't forget to like and subscribe for future videos and follow me on Facebook at Revamp Your Camp and Instagram at Revamp Your Camp. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and have a great day.